Hey, this is Andrew Brown. Let's talk about webhook events. So many of the listed GitHub workflows triggers uh, are from a webhook because if you look at it, they uh, show this webhook event payload indicating that it is coming uh, from the API. So basically what's happening is, is that um, particular API calls are triggering these webhooks, if that makes sense. What is a webhook? A webhook is a public facing URL that can be sent to an HTTP request, often requiring authorization to trigger events from external sources. So most of these webhooks will be triggered within GitHub when users are interacting with GitHub, which will in turn trigger API actions. Users generally don't have to directly call APIs or REST APIs to trigger the workflows. You can, but I'm just saying that it's just, you're just going about your business and these are getting triggered. Uh, but what we really wanna know about are the external webhook events. So if we just talk about webhook events, we're probably talking about the external ones. In order to do this, we have to use the repository dispatch. Uh, there are some things we need to know. So um, in particular, which is uh, it will only trigger workflow run if the workflow file is on the default branch. So notice here we have repository dispatch and the type is set to, uh, uh, to webhook, okay? Um, when you make the request to the webhook, you must send a post request uh, send the accept type to be application VND, I assume that stands for vendor .github plus JSON. Provide authorization your, with your personal access token. Uh, pass the event type as webhook. So here's an example of a curl. And so hopefully we can uh, emulate this, or simulate this using a curl and get this to work. But there you go.